if we now we look at our number systems that we have, um, in the IB, this is a set of natural numbers, but in the IB it's known as a set of positive integers and zero, zeros. This is slightly different to what you might read in the textbook. So it also includes zeros. So it's zero, one, two, three, and all the positive integers. Z is a set of integers, so all the negative ones, zero, and all the positive ones. Z plus is a set of positive integers, so that will just be the numbers 1, 2, 3. It's not going to include the number 0. And then the next set of numbers that we learn about is a set of rational numbers. And now ra rational numbers are numbers which can be written as A over B, provided B is not equal to 0. The number 3 is also a rational number because that can be written as 3 divided by 1, for example. So all positive integers, integers and uh, 0 are also in a rational number. So what we should realise is that n is a subset of z and both n and z are a subset of the set of rational numbers. The ones which are not rational numbers, so the rational numbers not, is a set of irrational numbers, and these are the set of numbers that cannot be written as a divided by b. Good examples of this are the square root of 2, pi, and the number e are all rational numbers. These cannot be written as a fraction. The set of real numbers is all these all the numbers it's all the irrational rational and all these other ones that are called the subsets so it's supposed to set of real numbers and rational numbers sorry the set of irrational numbers and rational numbers make up the set of real numbers and then because we've just realized we need to have a set of complex numbers otherwise we won't be able to solve all equations now the hierarchy of this so these are the set of numbers written as a plus ib where i is the square root of minus 1, or i squared is equal to minus 1. So if we start with the set of, natural, uh, set of positive integers and 0, then we have the set of integers, which so n is a subset of z, and then we have the set of rational numbers, ones which you can write a fraction, and both these are subsets of that. And then we have the set here, which are irrational, the ones that cannot be written by a fraction. So by definition, they should not be, they cannot join these two together. And then altogether, this is called the set of real numbers. And then we have to have another set of numbers around this called the set of complex numbers. Okay, because a complex number has a real part and an imaginary part. So consider the set of numbers minus 5, 0, minus pi, e, 3 over 4 root 3, 3i minus 2 minus 5i minus 0 0.35, 0 0.6 recurring, and 4, and see if you can place them in this diagram. Pause the video now to see if you can do that. Right, the, this is an integer. 0 is the set of positive integers and 0. Minus pi, that's irrational. E is also irrational. 3 over 4 is a fraction, so it goes in there. The square root of 3 is irrational. 3i is complex. Minus 2 minus 5i is also complex. Minus 0 0.35, well that is a fraction, so it's uh, rational. 0 0.6, all recurring decimals can be written as a fraction. But 0 0.6 recurring is two thirds. And the number four is would go in there. How well did you do? Okay, so it's important that you have an understanding of that, basic understanding of that when we're talking about numbers.